Alrighty then, let's get going with learning how to use some of these drawing selection tools as opposed to the elliptical marquee and the rectangular marquee tools and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the regular freehand lasso tool. Alright, the options up along here are accessible. Uh, by using keyboard shortcuts, I would hold the shift key down for this one. I would hold down the alt or option key to subtract and I had to hold down a combination of those keys to get the intersect. As far as feathering is concerned, I'm not interested in adding a feather at this point in time. I will put the feather on after the fact. Um, I'm going to keep the anti-aliasing uh, turned on, which is just going to give a slight little transitional edge, but I'm always going to want to add a little bit of a feather myself. So I'm going to start off just coming down here and just kind of following along this edge here as best as I can. I'll eventually zoom in so I'm not 100% concerned with getting every little detail and as a matter of fact in this face here I'm just going to come around here like that because I know I'm going to have to zoom in anyway so let's just at least get the starting point with this done. Alright and come in here down along and there we go there's my selection. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on this Holding down the space bar allows me to temporarily change any tool to the hand tool, which allows me to come in and do this. Now, what I have to do is I have to take away this area here, and to do that I hold down the Option or Alt key, and then I just come in here and follow the outline, and that takes things away. I might have to add a little bit here, so I'm just going to come in and do something like that. Maybe get that little bit like this. That's all good. Down to about like that looks good. So I'm going to start going back up this way now. And I have to take away a little bit more. So I'm going to come in here and follow along. It's just a matter of following along the edges. All right, following along the edges until you get a good selection. All right. Okay, let's just come in here. I need to add a little bit to there, and then I have to take away. So I start on the outside, follow along, come up and do that. And now I get to come in here, follow along as best as I can. When I start to lose a little bit of control in my hand due to cramping or whatever it is, I'll just do something like that and then shake the hand off a little bit and then carry on with my tracing of the edge. Nice little noise the pen makes on the tablet, but whatever. All right, so now I have to come along here and follow along, follow that along, come in here, take away a little bit of that, take away a little more, there we go, and come in here and get that as well, got it. All right, so now I have to add a little bit on the sleeve. Great, and take away a lot along the edge here. Too much. So I'm just going to add a big piece and then come back at it again, but probably then along here. There we go. Add in a piece. that, take that away, take that away, come in and add it back in, all right, and then come down here, follow that along, and as you can see, uh, it all depends on how accurate you are when you first start out, how much you, ooh, wrong way, 
how much you're going to have to add, subtract to modify your selection. So let's see if we can come down here, follow that edge as best as we can. And there we go. And I'm just going to add that little piece in there and just come in here and scoot around. Scoot around like that. Okay, so now that I've drawn this by hand, let me just zoom out just a little bit. And I've used that freehand lasso thing. I'm going to modify it. I'm going to use a couple things. First of all, I'm going to smooth it out. And then I'm going to smooth it out by two pixels just to get rid of some of those little uh, rough little did, 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 that go along there. And then I'm going to come in here, modify it, and I'm going to give this a feather. And again, I'm going to give this a feather of, well, this time I'm going to give it a feather of one. And then what I can do is I can start to fill it in, color it in, do whatever it is that I want to do to this selection. All right, that's why we would create a selection like this. So we can come in and possibly change the color of the jersey, you know, anything along those lines. So uh, do I want to? Well, let's just see. How about if I did it this way? And I'm not saying this is the most efficient way, but I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose as an example that color green. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill green where we have that there. So I'm just going to do the keyboard shortcut of that. And then I'm going to deselect that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and change this to the color blending mode. And there we go. I have gone and changed his uh, jersey from orange to green. And I could have done it any other way as well. So there you go. That's how we use the freehand lasso tool, holding down the shift key to add, holding down the option key to take away so we can affect change somehow, some way. Here's another example of using the freehand lasso tool to make a selection and then we can go around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect this and I'm going to see if I can get away with using the magnetic lasso tool as opposed to the freehand lasso tool. I'm not sure. I don't know if there's enough contrast in here. So I'm going to start up here. I'm going to click a point and I'm just going to have the tool follow along and see whether or not it likes the contrast at the edges. Well, not 100%, but it's not doing too bad of a job. Notice that I am helping it out by laying down some points every once in a while. And it will come in here, come down, up and around. I'm just following along. I'm not drawing, I'm just following along and I click every once in a while to set down an anchor point where I think it might have a little bit of problem and it's going to have some problems in there so I'm just going to avoid it completely by just doing that and then coming in here setting down a point and then coming across here and doing that all right so hey quick work of that that's for sure so now what I do is I just zoom in come over here and grab the regular lasso tool I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm just going to follow along the contours of her arm where the sweater meets. To get that, I'm just going to come over here and add a little bit of puffiness from where the shoulder is. I'm going to see if I can add a little bit more in here, like that, and then I need to take away and add. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna come in here and do this all by hand myself. So I'm just gonna come in here now and subtract all of this following along here as easy as peasy weezy does. There you go. And got that. And then I have to come over here and add a little bit onto there. That looks like it's all good. I just want to add a little bit down into there. We're kind of good down in that area as well. Got a little bit of the sweater sticking out there. Want to get that little bit like that. What we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the sweater. Now, have to come over here and see if I can actually take away some of this from there and some of this from there and yeah right I don't think so John but we'll see 
All right. Now, the beauty of this is uh, we can actually come in and fix this after the fact absolutely all the time. So I'm going to come in here and do something like that and something like that. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. But anyway, so here's the idea. Here we go. We've got this going on just like that. I've got some areas up in here that possibly need to be taken into account as well. And maybe a little bit over there. I mean, we could spend hours trying to finesse this. The idea is I wanted to show you something quick, down and dirty. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that guy in the garbage and I'm just going to show you to do that. Now, first of all, I'm going to come under the select menu, modify, and I'm going to modify this. Um, it's not as high a resolution as we had before, so I'm going to go point, uh, uh, 0.5. I'm going to give it a half a pixel feather transitional edge there. It's not as high a resolution image as some of the other ones I was working with. And then what I'm going to do when I have this active selection over here, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to choose the solid color adjustment. And at first you're going to look and go, oh, that's just absolutely horrible and all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on, say, that color there. I don't know if that's the right color, but I'm going to choose that for now. And that still looks horrid at this point. But if I change the blending mode to color, I actually have that sitting in there. So now you can take a look at this and you say, okay, well, you know, and you know about the masks at this point, or you will know about them soon enough. We have a layer mask here. And uh, what happens with layer masks is white reveals what's on the layer. What's on the layer is blue. And you can see, there you go. And black conceals. But if I want to modify the visual that I see on the screen here, all I have to do is start painting on this guy. So what do I want to do is I want to reveal some more of the white or the blue, which is represented by white in the mask and all that stuff. So I'm going to come over here and grab a paintbrush. I'm going to hit the D key and then the X key just to make sure that I'm painting with white. I'm going to reduce the size of my brush and I'm going to reduce the opacity of my brush as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and paint to get rid of some of that, all right, some of that reddish purpley stuff from the previous garment color. It comes along there. I don't think there's anything along here. There's just an, a little bit on the edge there. So I'm just kind of giving a little bit of a stroke there. And I think there might be just a fraction of something coming off the edges over there. But otherwise, this whole selection was done quite well. And so now the client has come and said, as an example, the client has said that we want you to photograph the model wearing this top, but we also have it available in this color as well. So we would like you to have, and then what they're going to do is put on a whole bunch of uh, the same model on the same sheet, holding and wearing the same outfit, just with different colors. I will go carry on and, and, and create this effect to show you uh, later on. It'll be in the PDF. All right. So there, just to recap, started off using the magnetic lasso tool. Then that did a great job, got me about 90% of the way there really quickly. And then what I did was I used the freehand lasso tool to modify the edges of that selection. Shift key added, option, alt key, subtracted. Once I got the selection to my liking, then what I did was I feathered it. In this case, I feathered it only a half a pixel. It's a lower res image All right, than the other ones I was using. So that's why I only went with half. And pixel feather and then I added an adjustment layer when you create an adjustment layer when you have an act of selection you get your layer mask that knocks out the area that you're not interested in and uh, then I just actually apply the color and then change the blend mode to the color uh, blend mode all right there we go that's it I think we're kind of wrapping things up with some of the selection tools and uh, we'll see you in the next movie